Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to apply liquid metal to bare copper. Hey guys, welcome to Frame Chasers. Super quick video today. Um, I upgraded my wife's computer to a 10900K and I have to sell her old 9900KS build. But before I do that, I'm going to reapply the liquid metal on her IHS. The IHS that she's using is a uh, Rocket Cool Copper one. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever, you can see it. Um, and when you're applying liquid metal to bare copper, it has, there's a trick to it that you gotta do. Actually, I'm gonna be showing you two things today. Um, the first one is how to lap the inside of an IHS flat, which is like oddly very difficult to do. So the problem when you're putting liquid metal on copper is it tends, if, if the copper isn't nickel plated, the liquid metal will absorb into it and then it'll dr like dry out over time. So then what you'll notice happening is you'll put liquid metal on like an, a copper IHS or a copper CPU cooler and then the performance will get worse like pretty quick like within like the month. Like after a month the temperatures will go up like 5 degrees, 6 degrees, 2 months, maybe even 10 degrees because it's all just like crusting over. So step one. If you are using a stock Intel IHS that has the nickel plating on it, you can skip this step. This is more for the inside of copper IHSs or in, in case you want to lap the inside of the uh, stock Intel one, which I wouldn't really re recommend, but uh, if in case you do want to lap it, let me show you how. This little thing here is a little plastic spatula that you get to spread um, li like like thermal paste around and it comes in the uh, cryonaut bags. Now you may be wondering why I have this thing here on this video. This is the ultimate tool for lapping an inside of an IHS. Let me show you how. You take this, you take a pair of scissors, Cut it straight as possible. This is your flat sanding tool. I, like, I'm not even kidding. You take your little tool, little piece of sandpaper. I mean, you go up in your grits, obviously. Fold it over the little tool. And here you have, my friend, is the ultimate IHS inside lapping tool. And yeah, start start sanding your life away for the next hour. You pretty much have to do this every time you take a copper IHS off of a, uh, like a bare die, um, because the liquid metal kind of absorbs into the copper from underneath and it, um, it, it's not flat after you take it off. So try not to take it off, but if you do, old spatula buddy to the rescue. All right, so I got this all sanded down. Now I'm gonna show you the liquid metal trick. Get a little bit of alcohol. Obviously, alcohol is always the last step you want to do before you put on the liquid metal. Alcohol it all up, blah, 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 dry it out. Get everything off of there. Done. All right, grab your liquid metal. So this is the best way to make the liquid metal last a lot longer on bare copper. So take, just put a little bit on the Q-tip just like like you don't need much at all like a like barely even a drop put a little bit on there and what you want to do next is let me just move this up here a little bit you want to just do like a really thin film of liquid of liquid metal on the whole thing so this actually might even be too much no 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 this is perfect okay so cover the whole IHS this this doesn't just this isn't just for IHSs, this is all bare copper and liquid metal. As thin of a layer as you can get around the whole thing. Really, really, really thin. And, okay, so I'm kind of, kind of can see it here. I got a really thin, there we go. I have a really thin layer of liquid metal on there. 
Um, I put I put quite a bit of pressure on the Q-tip here. And now what you want to do, you just let this sit for maybe 30 minutes to an hour and let it dry up. And the reason you do that is because there's only so much, um, I'm not really sure what component of the liquid metal it does absorb, but there's only so much the copper can actually absorb it. And so what the idea behind this is the first layer that you put on gets absorbed into the copper. And then once it's dried out, you actually apply the layer of liquid copper that you're going to be using with the, um, the dye or your CPU cooler, et cetera, et cetera. So there's like, oh, you're almost, you're almost like in an, in an, in an essence, you're like nickel plating the copper with a primary layer of liquid metal. And what that does is it, it doesn't prevent the absorption, but it kind of helps the liquid metal stay moist. <laughs> it, it helps it, it helps it keep it like wet for a longer period of time. And that way you don't have to change it for about a year or two, right? Now, the the trick is you might think, why wouldn't you just keep reapplying it over and over and letting it dry out until um, it can't absorb anymore? I've actually tried that before. I've tested, I've tested multiple layers. I've tried doing like, I tried saturating the shit out of the copper until it actually can't hold anymore. And the problem with doing that is it leaves behind it it like uh every time it dries out it leaves behind a layer of like whatever's left of the liquid metal and that part that's left isn't actually very thermally conductive at all so what happens is if you put like 10 layers on there over time and you wait 1 hour between each layer it the, the thermal performance will actually be total garbage because there's there's like a thick layer of whatever the hell it is blocking the thermal transfer like a dried layer of liquid metal blocking thermal so you only want to do one layer that's it you don't want to do any more than that you can test it but trust me on this i've i've been dicking around with liquid metal for a long time and this is the best way that i found to be doing it so i'm going to leave this for an hour and i'm going to come back and i'm going to show you what it looks like here so check it out try and get a good angle it's nice and wet, and it, when we come back, it's going to be really cloudy and, like, dried up. Give me about an hour. All right, it's been about 45 minutes or so. Um, here, check this out. If you can see, I'm trying to get a good angle on it. Can you see how it's kind of cloudy now? It's not as liquidy and as reflective. So that's how you know it uh, kind of absorbed and dried out a bit. So, the next step. Next step is to just like add just a little bit more as if you're kind of uh, putting it on for the first time. Put another layer over top and then you assemble and leave it. And that's the trick. Alright, put another layer on here. Nice and shiny again. And off we go. I'm going to put it right on this motherboard here. And right on the IHS. Click. Close. Make sure it's straight. And done. All right. So whoever buys this build now won't have to do... Uh, any liquid metal or IHS crap for at least uh, a year and a half, two years. So, and she's in. Uh, if you see the silver spot here, that's actually from old liquid metal that I used on the IHS. But I like, I uh, lapped it flat again, and it just, it just happened to absorb that deeply. But that doesn't actually affect the uh, cooling performance at all. But I'm gonna be using regular thermal paste. Uh, in the rebuild just because uh liquid metal on cpu coolers and ihs's is a little advanced for the regular user so i'm not uh gonna be doing that but don't forget to subscribe if you like these tips and that's it so don't forget plastic spatula from cryonaut 
chop it. That is your inside lapping tool. And liquid metal, thin film, one hour later, reapply, assemble, done. And that is literally the best way to use liquid metal on any bare copper surface. All right, guys, hope you liked the tips today. Oh, guess. If you uh, enjoyed the content, please subscribe. Hopefully today is the day I earned your subscription. And if you like the content, do all that YouTube SEO stuff, like, comment, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Tells YouTube that I'm, I know what I'm talking about. And I will see you guys in the next one for some more tips. Talk to you later.